Okay guys, today we're here at the Tesla in New York City, Manhattan, and look what finally arrived to the showroom. Yes, you got it. This big, monstrous Cybertruck. Look at it. To be honest with you, it's surreal seeing this up front. It's bigger than you think when you look at it through a video or a photo. Um, it's pretty long, like, look at it. I mean, I don't know what you can see to compare, but look at how long this is. Look at it back. I mean, it looks very rigid, uh, which I believe that's what they were going for. Uh, but the shape is very, I would say unique, as in very simple. Um, it looks like a big trapezoid for me. But hey, listen, I'm very excited to see this up front. I've been waiting for to see this car, for this come out from production. Um, look at this massive wheel over here. The massive tire. Let me see if I can get a good look at how big the tires are. I can't really see the numbers, but it's pretty big. It looks like either uh, probably overall, probably 30 some inches. And let's take a look at around the front. Well, let's leave the side. Oh, look at this. You see that single windshield wiper that covers the big front glass. <laughs> that looks strange, but hey, listen, this is a, was supposed to be a concept car, but they made it to a reality. Look at the side skirts or side fenders. Pretty wide. Let's go around this pillar real quick and check out the front. Man, the bottom looks pretty cheap, you know, where the vents, you got the front camera and the sensors and you got some tow hooks there too, as you can tell. And, but when you get up, you got some LED lights. I think those are either turn signals on the bottom there. But you got that massive, that one single Cyclops looking, you know, LED laser light right here. I believe that's what it is. I don't have all the specs or no one can provide me with it yet, but this is just my first reaction on seeing it. Uh, I, I know nothing about it. I don't know the price or anything, but it's just surreal seeing it finally here up front. Look at the triangular uh, roof set up there they got going with the windows <laughs> but they do have a giant massive uh, windshield up front uh, gives you I believe it'll probably give you so much uh, sunlight where it will be great views of when you're driving but I do what what I do like my, my favorite is obviously the how it looks in the front at least the top section of it but look at it, look at the shiny metal. It looks sick. I don't know why people give so much hate about it, but I for one am very intrigued about this. Uh, unfortunately today I won't be able to see the interior, but let's, let's look at the, uh, they do have a sign right here. At least very, very limited uh, details, but gives you at least you could freeze the uh, pause the video right here so you can see uh, what it offers okay so right now they have the stainless steel exoskeleton suit in the front and shatter resistant glass okay and then this has a towing power of 11,000 pounds and you also got adaptive air suspension you know for on-road and off-road drive modes which is pretty decent pretty good for this big vehicle i'm telling you you gotta go come see it for yourself to see how humongous this wheel is i'm telling you right now this that has to be like 36 or 38 inch wheels overall and you can see that the rear passenger has uh, also a uh, panoramic roof like saying that comes with all the teslas you know the uh the glass roof i mean i do say this this rear window is kind of small compared to you know the passenger and driver i'm guessing it's due to the sloping roof or the angular roof but i think it'll do 
And you can see the side brake lights on the bottom. And look at that flatbed on the top. I don't know how that works. Um, I'm assuming is retractable. And look at the rear. Look at the rear lights too, over here. Looks nice when it's red. There's blinking. I gotta get out the sunlight real quick, but it's really ginormous. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look like a pickup truck, but I'm guessing if they if they open the the roof or the bed uh, bed roof, then it will resemble it more. But right now you don't see it as it is. As it, it's just a regular concept car. But you can see, you know, sharp lines, very rigid lines, angular lines on the side. You can't miss it. I mean, it seems like a very simple trapezoidal shape that anybody can draw or a child can draw. But that's what most likely people say. Look, look at how big this rear tailgate is. You can see that camera right in the center and the blinking brake lights. You can see the brake singular LED light in the back. And here is your, how your step to go up, if anything. And that's where your license plate is gonna go. And let's check on the bottom. There's nothing really on the bottom. But overall, look at the shape right here. It's great seeing it. Finally seeing it up in person, you know. Let me know what you guys think, you know. I'm definitely be interested. I've always been interested in the Cybertruck when they first announced it. Um, but I will definitely need to know more uh, what it offers, especially the interior and obviously the pricing before pulling the trigger on this vehicle. I love it, you know. Driving down the street, I, I, I would love, I'll be so impressed. I'm already impressed by seeing videos of this on the road but nothing beats or compares when you're up close in front look at that side mirror it's a triangular side mirror that looks so funky <laughs> but I'm, I'm not hating on it i'm actually really giddy about it so but there you have it this is the uh, tesla cybertruck new york city please like comment thank you for watching my videos and please continue to do so because I look forward to it. Please also comment. Let me know what you think about the Cybertruck, okay? Thank you. Hey, guys. Just a quick update on the Cybertruck pricing. Right now, they have that available on their website. When you uh, go try and order, you can order your Cybertruck right now. So they come in three different trims. You have their rear-wheel drive trim, which is $61,000 starting. And if you go up to the all-wheel drive, it will be $80,000. And there's a third one, which is the insane mode, which they call it the Cyber Beast. Now that will start at $100,000. Now the rear-wheel drive, the range is a bit short. It's around like 250 estimated. All right, uh, I wouldn't suggest getting that. But like I always say, if that fits your criteria and your finances, um, that will be a good option for you as well. Uh, now, the all-wheel drive has up to 340 estimated uh, miles of range. And that also comes with 600 horsepower. And you go to 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds, as they claim. Um, that would be the most preferred suggested option that I would suggest. As, you know, that's a very quick, especially in that big vehicle. And if you want more to go even quicker, uh, obviously there's that Cyber Beast option where you can go 0 to 60 in up to 2.6 seconds. Just think about that. And this one comes with 845 horsepower. The range for this one at the Cyber Beast, it's not that much different than the, um, the all-wheel drive. It gives you approximately 320 miles of range, which is really good too. It's decent you know, given about uh, the performance that uh, that is different from the all-wheel drive. Now, I would suggest obviously the middle uh, package, which is the all-wheel drive, and give you all-wheel drive, obviously. Um, you have that towing capacity of 11,000 pounds for both. Uh, 
and it is twenty thousand dollars cheaper so you know that's the best of both worlds and you can go quick uh, 4.1 seconds already quick um, like I said if you want to go an insane speed then obviously the cyber beast plus I mean that sounds pretty cool right cyber beast <laughs> but anyways I just wanted to update um, you guys on the pricing um, you guys can always check it out at Tesla and obviously if you want to check my other Tesla uh, cars or vehicles uh, review I'll post the link in my description all right once again thank you for checking out the video and please like comment and subscribe um, I always look forward to your comments and your inputs um, I love interacting with you guys that way all right you guys have a great day and check you out next time and I'm out